Hey, what's up guys? So I tested the Mavic Air 2 active track mode and I really put it to the test. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did and what came out of it. So if you guys aren't aware of, the Mavic Air 2 has this thing called active track and on your screen, when it when the drone's flying, obviously I'm inside and the drone's here so it's, it's not flying and stuff, obviously. But basically you could select like you you mark it on the screen and then you could select like hey track this person and it tells you if it's successful or not most of the time it is successful and there's basically three modes there's spotlight which keeps the target at the center and you fly the drone and then it just keeps it at the center which works well there is active track which I'll get into and there's revolve revolve also works really well where you pick a track and it just revolves around you either clockwise or counterclockwise and you can also pick the speed and stuff and those both of those work really well but back to the middle option active track now active track is basically follow me and try not to hit anything while you're following me and I'm like okay well let's try this out so at first I started walking and it was doing a pretty good job and then I started running, easily keeping up with me, no issues, avoiding obstacles. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And I ran like around the tree and stuff and it avoided the tree. And I'm like, oh, this is like, this is awesome. Can I keep up with my scooter? Now my scooter could go up to 18.6 miles an hour technically because I have the US version of the 9Bot Max. At first I started going around 10 and it was keeping up no problem, avoiding obstacles and it was pretty awesome. Then I'm like, okay, let me see if it could go faster. So, when I accelerated hard, it looked like I was leaving the drone behind and then the drone was coming up, but I was kind of getting worried. Like, hey, is this going to like keep up with me or not? And I did a few tests and essentially if you accelerate slowly, it will keep up with you. But again, try to do it in an open area and stuff and try not for there not to be too many obstacles I tried it with around obstacles around and I was going a little bit slower slower and it was fine but try to do it in an open area and if you go slow enough I think it could follow you and then I'm like okay well I think it could follow me although I was getting a little bit worried because I kept looking back like hey is this thing still following me and if you guys are wondering what happens when it stops following you, it just stops in place. So if it's flying at some altitude, it just stops there. I'm like, can this thing keep up with my Tesla? Obviously, not at full speed or anything, but I'm like, let's try it on a car, right? So I was trying it on my car, and it detected it was a car, and I was like, okay, this is awesome. So I did a little circle. And it was keeping up, it was giving me some super cool shots. Man, it looks super cool when the drone is following your car. Then I'm like, okay, so I saw there were no cars around, no cars coming and stuff. And I'm like, let's see if it can keep up. Let's see what it looks like if it's trying to keep up. And so I was driving and I got to like 15, 16, 17 miles an hour. And it, like, I could tell like it was starting to have trouble, like it was trying to keep up. And then I got it to like 18, 20 miles an hour and it was like, the controller was like, doo, 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 doo. like, I can't keep up with you, uh, just calm down. So I'm like, okay, so I put on my emergency lights and then the soonest possible place, I know there was a very close place that I could pull over, it was a very short piece of road with no cars around. And so I pulled over right away. And then the drone came and it looked like it was about to hit my car, but then it didn't. Uh, so obstacle avoidance was working, so thank God for that. But essentially, it was actually pretty funny because this thing cannot keep up with my car. Cannot keep up with any car. So if, if you're planning to go over 15, 16 miles an hour, start getting worried that it's not going to be able to follow you. Now, if you're going off-roading, you're going really slow and stuff, like, yeah, I think it'll do a fantastic job for that. If you're on a scooter, if you're running and stuff, yeah, I'll do a fantastic job for that. Can you trick it? Yes, if you're like running and then and then slow down and then run in the opposite direction to try to go underneath it, sometimes you will lose it so you can fool it. But at the end of the day, we have to think about this. This is a drone. 
This thing cost $800 brand new. It just came out a few months ago. And okay, I got the $1,000 one because it came with extra batteries and stuff. But for 800 bucks in the US, if you're trying to buy this, the fact that it could track you is phenomenal. Now, can it track you while you're driving 30, 40, 50 miles an hour? No. Now, I thought it could track me a little bit at a faster speed because, you know, this drone, I think, is... Yeah, it can go 42 and a half miles an hour on uh, sport mode, which, again, at sport mode, it doesn't avoid obstacles. It can only avoid obstacles at normal or tripod mode. But I was thinking, like, hey, can it do, like, 25? Because at 25, I would be pretty impressed. But nonetheless, I'm still very impressed because of the price of this drone, especially compared to my older drone that I bought several years ago that can't do any of these things and it cost more at the time. But overall, Active Track does work well, but don't try to make it follow your car if you're actually going to go like above 15, 16 miles an hour. So if you're going off roading and you're doing slow stuff like that, or if you want to just do a cool drone shot if you're just doing a slow spin somewhere. Yeah, if you're trying to get it to follow your scooter as long as you're not going crazy fast, yeah. If you're running, unless you're like Usain Bolt or something like that, or someone like that, I think it could follow most people. But there you go. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good night, or good day, or good afternoon. Either way, thank you for watching.